Hi guys! My name is Rebecca North and I am a Canadian children's author. Uh, today I'm sitting here at my kitchen counter, which is one of my favorite places to sit and write stories. Um, and I know that you're at home today too. Uh, and I thought that since we're both home, we could share a story together. So the book that I wanted to share with you guys this morning is my newest book, and it's called Nanny's Kitchen Party. So I wrote the words for this book, but I didn't draw the pictures. Um, this book was illustrated by Laurel Keating, who is a very talented uh, Newfoundland artist. And this is her on the back. That's her picture right there. Um, and she drew all the pictures for this story. Uh, and it was published by Breakwater Books. Now, some of you might already know what a kitchen party is, and some of you might not. So a kitchen party is uh, an Eastern Canadian tradition, and uh, you invite all your uh, friends, your neighbors, your family over to your house. Everybody hangs out in the kitchen. A lot of people bring instruments with them, and you play uh, instruments and sing songs together and make music together, and it's really fun. Uh, so that's what this book is about. Now, whenever I go to classrooms uh, to share my stories, one of the questions that I always get asked uh, by students is, how did you come up with the idea for your book? Um, so for this book, I wrote this book when I was living in one of the best places on earth, St. John's, Newfoundland. And I like to play music myself. I play the flute. And when I lived out there, I was uh, part of a band called the Gower Street Community Band. Uh, and I had a lot of fun playing with them. And in that band, there's all different kinds of instruments. There's tubas, there's drums, there's clarinets, there's trumpets, saxophones, oboe. Uh, and one night at rehearsal, I was sitting and I was looking around at all these different instruments and I thought, you know, I would love to write a book about different instruments. So that's where the idea for this book started to form. Um, so find yourself a nice comfy spot to sit because we are going to read a story together now. So, Nanny's Kitchen Party. My nanny invited me to her kitchen party. So I put on my party dress and my favorite purple shoes. Then I marched over to her house. I was very surprised to find a walrus in my nanny's kitchen. He was playing the accordion. Nanny wasn't going to like that at all. All. I scowled and I growled, then I marched right up to him and said, You'd better stop that racket. My nanny will be so angry. But he didn't stop. He kept playing. So I went looking for my nanny. I didn't see my nanny. I saw two moose strumming guitars and three black bears drumming on pots and pans. Nanny was going to be so upset. I pouted and I shouted, then I marched right up to them and said, you'd better stop that racket. My nanny will be so angry. But they didn't stop. They kept strumming and drumming. So I kept looking for my nanny. I didn't see my nanny. I saw four pigs plucking banjos, and five dogs clackety-clacking in tap-dancing shoes. Uh-oh. Nanny was going to be so annoyed. I threw my hands in the air and pulled at my hair. Then I marched right up to them and said, You'd better stop that racket. My nanny will be so angry. But they didn't stop. They kept plucking and dancing, so I kept looking for my nanny. I didn't see my nanny. I saw six cats playing spoons and seven foxes clapping their paws.
Nanny was going to be flabbergasted. I raced all around and stomped on the ground. Then I marched right up to them and said, you'd better stop that racket. My nanny will be so angry. But they didn't stop. They kept playing and clapping. So I kept looking for my nanny. I didn't see my nanny. I saw eight hairs hopping on the piano and nine squirrels stomping their feet. Nanny was going to faint. I showed them a frown and jumped up and down. Then I marched right up to them and said, you'd better stop that racket. My nanny will be so angry. But they didn't stop. They kept hopping and stomping, so I kept looking for my nanny. I didn't see my nanny. I saw 10 birds singing a song. Nanny was going to be so forlorn. I sighed and I cried. Then I marched right up to them and said, you'd better stop that racket. My nanny will be so angry. But they didn't stop. They kept singing. So I kept looking for my nanny. I looked up, I looked down, I looked all around and I found my nanny playing the accordion with the walrus and strumming the guitar with the moose and drumming with the black bears and plucking the banjo with the pigs and dancing with the dogs and playing spoons with the cats and clapping with the foxes and hopping with the hares and stomping with the squirrels and singing with the birds. My nanny throws the best kitchen parties ever. The end. So that is one cool grandma in that book. <laughs> I had a couple of really super cool grandmas myself. And uh, I actually have something from my grandmother here that I wanted to show you guys. I have been wanting to take it um, into schools with me when I do uh, author visits, but it's really big and really heavy. It comes in this big case, so I haven't been able to bring it with me. But I thought today uh, it's a great chance for me to share this with you. So if you remember, in the start of the book, there was a walrus playing an accordion. So my grandmother used to play the accordion, and now I have her accordion. I don't actually know how to play it. Um, I'm hoping, I'm thinking over this next little while, it might be a really good time for me to learn. So I'm going to try to learn a little bit, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway, so you can see what it looks like. Oh, it's really big and really heavy. Okay. I wish I could play it for you guys kind of makes it sound like that. It's really cool. I'm hoping to learn how to play it. Um, so I have lots of instruments in my house. I've got an accordion, I've got, uh, we've got a piano, we've got a ukulele, we've got a flute. So sometimes uh, we have shakers and maracas. So sometimes we all uh, like to play some music together. Um, you might have musical instruments in your house, uh, but you might not too, and that's okay, you can still make music. Uh, one of the things that I have been doing uh, when I've been sharing this book is after we read the book together, we make a musical instrument craft um, so that we can all have a kitchen party together at the end. Um, so I thought we could do something like that together today. Uh, and all you're going to need is whatever is in your recycling bin and some glue and maybe some markers or stickers if you want to decorate your musical instruments too. But uh, I thought first 
I would show you how to make your very own banjo. So banjo uh, was in the book as well. Uh, remember the pigs were plucking banjos. Um, so we can make our own today. All we need is our recycling bin and some glue. So this is a banjo that I made uh, at home. I don't know if you can hear that, it's, but you can kind of hear a little bit of the sound. And all you need to make your very own banjo is a jar lid. It could be any jar. This is from a, a jam jar, but it doesn't need to be a jam jar. It can be anything. Um, some elastic bands. And I have one of these big giant jumbo popsicle sticks uh, that we just have around our house. But if you don't have one, that's okay. You can just cut out a piece of cardboard, maybe a cereal box or something like that that you have in your recycling bin uh, that's about the same size, and that'll work just great. So all you have to do is, you might start out by decorating this a little bit if you want to. I did with this one. I glued a little bit of sparkly paper on the inside and some sparkly tape up on the uh, popsicle stick. You don't have to. Um, so you start out just by putting your elastic bands over your jam jar lid. And you can just put them on your lid like that. And then the next thing you need to do is either glue or tape this onto the outside and you have a banjo. Pretty cool. Um, and that's all just stuff that you probably already have around your house and you've got your very own musical instrument. So another one I wanted to show you guys is how to make your own set of castanets. So, all you need for this is a piece of cardboard, about this size, and um, a couple of lids or bottle caps or really whatever you've got. Um, in, go through your recycling bin and bang some things together and see what makes a cool sound. So this sounds like, but anything you can find that you can bang together like this that makes a sound will work just great. Um, so all you have to do for this is you take your strip of cardboard uh, you might want to decorate it first, I don't know, and fold it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, you take some glue. I'm going to use a hot glue gun. If you've got a grown-up in your house that can help you and you do have a hot glue gun, uh, it's kind of nice to use the hot glue because it dries faster, but regular glue works great too. You just have to wait a little longer before you start making music. So you just take some hot glue or regular glue. Oh, I guess you guys can't really see that. Okay. And you put it right on your cardboard and you place a lid on the inside. And then you take your other lid, put it on top of the first one so that you know it's going to hit the right spot. Use a little bit more glue. and press it down. And that'll just take a minute to dry. And when it does, you'll have your own set of castanets. Let's see if it's dry or if it falls apart. And you can decorate this too. This is um, one I made before that I decorated to look like a monster. So this one has bottle caps inside and has a little bit of a different sound. Uh, so, I just put some sparkly paper on uh, the top of it and a couple of fuzzy pom-poms I glued down, some googly eyes, and a set of teeth. So it's both a musical instrument and a monster puppet. Pretty cool. Alright guys, that's all I had for today. Uh, it was really fun hanging out with you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, reading Nanny's Kitchen Party with me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.